Okay, here's a tune on Sunday morning, uh, 6.30 in the morning. I'm an early riser, as you can tell. Here's a song you don't hear very often. Uh, it's called Wouldn't Want to Be Like You. And it goes like this. I start, let me just play the intro. Here's how the band plays the intro, or I do it. I play the C note. like Eye of the Tiger, and I play the C minor 7th chord, right, C, G, R, 3rd fret, 3rd string, E flat, 4th fret, 2nd string, G, then I just do a bar chord, I just bar the whole 3rd fret, I guess it's a C over B flat. I don't play the first string now. I stop at the second string. So you get this. Then I go down here, I bar the first fret, three strings, second, third, and fourth, and I leave that C down. drums come in and it's just you hammer on. <laughs> and you get your funk going. Hammer on. Then when he comes in singing, you take this C minor 7, you go up to the 8th fret. And that's when he starts singing, you do the exact same thing. Pinky down on the 11th fret. Down to the 10th. Sixth fret, fifth fret. Get funky. And it goes to the forward. Back to this. G, F. I don't know if that's right. That's what the band does. <laughs> so it's like... this all tabbed out it's not timing it's not right or anything and but the notes are there so it goes up to the 10th fret third fret so two tenths to eight it actually does it three times like bend that bend up that 10 to the G on the third string. So. Oh wow, I'm like out of it now. So it's yeah. So eight, ten on the fourth.
So it goes like this. Let me just play the whole progression. <laughs> So you got that three times. You slide up from the 10th to the 12th fret. You're just gonna have to watch, kind of watch the tab. <laughs> Hit that E flat twice, back to the C, and do the vibrato right there on the 13th fret, C. This is a cool solo. Play it wrong. Then it goes, you're bending down from the F, but you're on the third, eleventh fret. So, you're... so eleven, eight, first string, eleven, second, the G on the second string, eighth fret. So this, right? Gotta get that right, Bradley. We work on that all day. <laughs> then I go. You could do. I mean, that's not right. I'm just what I do. I, go, I start on the 11th. Go to the 10th. Down to the 8th on the G string. Then back up to the 10th. And I kind of roll down to the tenth and the fourth, and I do that E flat. Whatever you want to do, then it starts over again. Right? Same thing. Then it does this again. Same thing. But this time you do what you do up there. Do the same thing, but you do it on the second and third string. But instead of hitting the eleventh fret, you hit the tenth fret on the third string. So. Right. Then you go down to all the way down to the fourth fret, the second string. Pull off to third. Four, three, five, three on the third string. Down to the G on the fourth, fourth string, fifth fret. Flat, B flat, and like that B flat. Right? And then I think he goes like. So what have we got so far? Just three and five on the third string. Staccato, I guess you call that. So it's five, three, five, then five again, really quick. Let's see. Let me play. There you go. So you're bending up to that G, down to the F, E flat. So back to the C, B flat. Back to the C. Just look at the tab. <laughs> Let's 
if I can play a whole solo without screwing it up. The thing I think is different than, is on that one, it's just uh, the first one's but on the second one it says you don't bend up. All right, I think that's it. Hey, I'm thinking about giving them doing the pedal giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers. Well, that's if I hit 500 subscribers, so stay tuned to that. I'll just like post a backing track. And whoever wants to like solo over it, I'll have my kids pick who plays the best or thinks it's the best. So it won't be me judging, it'll be my, my daughters. All right, have a good Sunday.